Hi everyone, today is going to be a battle between two carpet cleaners. We have the Hoover Power Dash Advanced Pet and the Bissell Turbo Clean Power Brush Pet. We have a test here. We have two tablespoons of iced coffee, two half tablespoons of mustard, two tablespoons of ketchup, and two half tablespoons of chocolate syrup. We're gonna be seeing which one of these two machines cleans better. We're also gonna go over some features, how easy they are to clean. So we're gonna start off with filling the tanks. All right, so in order to get the most fair test results, I'm going to be making sure that I mix the solution to the same ratio. So I have this container, which is 16 ounces. I'll be filling this twice, so 32 ounces in total. Fill each one of the tanks with 32 ounces of water and one quarter cup of Bissell Pro Max Carpet Clean solution. So let's fill the tanks. All right, so we have all the stains, we have both of our machines. So let's get into the testing. I have a little defoamer inside the tanks just to make sure that the foam doesn't build up too much and cause us to have to empty the tanks too early. So let's start off with the Bissell. All right, I see water flowing. So we're gonna take two passes on the initial Pass, one forward, okay. it's two wet passes, actually let's do three, one dry pass. See the defoamer sure as heck did its job, take is basically foam free, let's try the hoover. So that's one pass, let's do a second. Here's our third pass, that's a dry pass. All right, so let's take a very close look. So actually, if I look really closely here, it appears that the Hoover has done a slightly better job. Let's zoom in. There's the Bissell ketchup. There's the Hoover. The Hoover has just slightly lightened the ketchup a little bit more than the Bissell has. The mustard, that's pretty darn close. The chocolate syrup, again, maybe slightly lighter on the Hoover. Very, very close though. So let's take a few more passes and see what these machines are capable of. Let's do two more wet and one more dry. Start off with the Bissell like we did the last time. Now the coffee is gone. I didn't expect them to have that much trouble with that. That was not a sticky stain. All three of the other stains are very difficult stains. I had a feeling that they would have a hard time with them. Hoover next.
Still no major foam buildup in the tank. I can always add more defoamer if I need to. But as you can see, the Hoover is starting to pull ahead a little bit. If you look closely at the chocolate syrup, it's a little less visible with the Hoover. You see my light, I should be able to turn my camera light up a little bit. There we go. Hoover's is a little lighter, so is the ketchup. It's just a very small difference though. This is definitely not a huge difference or any type of deal breaking like a huge difference that would make one significantly worse or better than the other. I would say that this is very close. Let's keep going and see until we can remove the dirt and stains. And if not, I will get some carpet spray and we'll do that since I do need to get these stains out to reuse this rug. A little bit of stuff underneath the Bissell. Keep going until the water is used up. That's another wet pass. And that's another wet pass. And the Bissell is out of water. So let's do a couple dry passes. That's one. That is three dry passes. I'd say the stains are mostly gone now. Again, you can still see them a little. Let's check the Hoover. So let's go until the Hoover is out of water. The Hoover also doesn't have a lot of water left in it either. I think one more wet pass and the Hoover will be out. And yep, there's a tiny touch left at the bottom. Do a couple dry passes, that's one. There's a second. And here's the third. Not sure what that was all about, but there we go. All right, so it's really hard to declare a winner here. They both did a great job. So now we're gonna move on to the features and benefits of each machine. Let's get into that. All right, so when it comes to cleaning performance, these two machines are very similar. The stain removal ability of these two is pretty indistinguishable. Hoover may have been slightly better. Too small to really tell a big difference from. But what is a big difference is the design. So when it comes to features, I'm gonna have to give it to the Hoover and I'll tell you why. Number one, water tank capacity. The water tanks on the Hoover, or at least the clean water tank, is double the capacity of the Bissell. Gallon, half gallon. The Hoover is also easier to clean. So to remove the tank on the Bissell, you have to do these, undo these two latches right here. It's not that difficult. But on the Hoover, all you do is press this gray button right here, and the tank comes right off. To clean the tank on the Bissell, you have to unscrew this gray plastic ring, grab here and pull the center piece out in order to clean the inside of the Bissell. I'm sure we'll get this to go back on correctly. It's a little tricky. Got it. Versus on the Hoover, you just undo this latch right here, and now the top of the tank comes off and you can clean the inside. So it's significantly easier to clean the tank on the Hoover Power Dash Advanced than it is to clean the tank on the Bissell. And that goes the same for brush roll maintenance. So on the Bissell, make sure I'm getting this correctly, to access this nozzle you simply pull up and you can clean in here but this doesn't come off it's held in by screws the power dash on the other hand if you just pull right here 
you can pull this nozzle off to clean. But if you grab right here, you can also access the smaller cover right here and get into the brush roll. You also don't have to take the tank off to do so. So the tank is on and I'm able to access it. The Hoover also has a couple more advantages. The Hoover comes with this rubber mat for storage. I haven't even unboxed the mat yet, but it's a rubber mat that you put the machine on to store it. And the biggest advantage of the Hoover is this, a hose and tools. You can clean above the floor with the Hoover, you can't with the Bissell. The next Bissell up from this, the Turbo Clean Dual Power, I believe is what it's called, is significantly larger and heavier than either of these machines. So if you're looking for a lightweight carpet cleaner that also is capable of cleaning above the floors, this is your best and one of the only options I'm aware of. It's got a bigger tank, suction's pretty similar, brush rolls are pretty similar as well. Cleaning performance, again, it's pretty similar. But the Hoover wins on features and benefits. The water tank is larger, the brush roll and dirty tank are easier to clean. It also has a brush roll shut off. As you saw earlier, the brush roll doesn't spin when it's upright on the Hoover while it does on the Bissell. You can actually see that the brush roll is loose and I can spin it pretty easily with my hand because when you put it upright, it shuts the roller off. So I would again, if I was buying these machines, which I did, I'm not sponsored by either of these brands, I paid for both of these, I would pick the Hoover. It has better features and benefits. This would be great for an apartment, an RV, or a small house. This would be your machine of choice. It cleans carpets very well, both of them do. But you can clean above the floors, you get a bigger clean water tank, and much easier maintenance on the Hoover. Well, with the Bissell, you're pretty limited to very small areas because of the small clean water tank and the lack of any tools. And one more thing to note is that I think the build quality in the Hoover is slightly better. This is plastic right here, while this is aluminum. So I hope you enjoyed this comparison between these two carpet cleaners and I'll see you all in the next video.